Greetings, subscribers. I'm sure you know about the Blue Beetle movie coming out soon, based on the DC comic book character of the same name. I am super excited about this movie because I like the Blue Beetle character, but I also like actor Cholo Meridueña, who stars as Jaime Reyes, a.k.a. the Blue Beetle here. I, of course, know him best as Miguel Diaz from the streaming show Cobra Kai. But anyway, how many of you know that this is not the Blue Beetle's first appearance in live action? That came on the TV show Smallville, which ran from 2001 through 2011, and was mainly about young Clark Kent before becoming Superman. That show brought on many more DC comic book characters as guests than most people realize, and popular comic book writer Jeff Johns wrote the episode that introduced Blue Beetle. So today, I'd like to go over the basic outline and highlights of Blue Beetle's appearance in Smallville, and then offer my opinion. So now I'll get started. In Season 10's 18th episode, titled Booster, we see Jaime Reyes introduced on Metropolis Street as a clumsy teenager. While crossing the street and not looking, he almost gets hit by a car, but suddenly, Booster Gold, a hero the world has never seen before, saves him. As Jaime is walking away, he notices a container inside the car has been ripped open, and we then see the Blue Beetle Scarab crawling into his book bag. We later see Jaime being teased by Piers after Soda explodes in his face. Lois Lane tries to teach him to stand up for himself, but the attempt fails. He walks away alone into an alley, where the Scarab crawls out the bag and inside him as we see electricity, showing us that the Scarab is altering his body, making him the new Blue Beetle. We later see Clark and Lois at the Justice League headquarters, watching Ted Kord on TV. In the comics, Ted Kord was the previous Blue Beetle, but here, he's just confirmed to be president of Kord Industries. He's announcing that a high-tech device of his went missing when his company's car crashed into Booster Gold, and he needs to find it. Clark knows there's something more to this device than Kord is telling, so Clark wants to find it. Clark shows up at Kord Industries and questions Ted directly but Ted refuses to tell him anything. We then see Ted is speaking to Booster Gold by phone about locating the Scarab, and Clark uses super hearing to listen in. Clark then super speeds over to grab some of Ted's papers. As Booster Gold is getting ready for a publicity appearance, Jaime shows up and says there's something wrong with him and he needs help, but Booster Gold says he's too busy and turns away. After Jaime leaves, the suit takes over him completely and says the word, DESTROY. We then see Clark and Lois at the Daily Planet, where Clark explains a little about what he's learned from Kord's papers. He mentions how the Scarab once merged with an employee of Kord's named Dan Garrett, and comic fans will recognize that name as the first Blue Beetle. Clark says Garrett killed three people and then died himself when other people tried to take the Blue Beetle suit off him. This is quite different than Garrett's comic book counterpart, who was always depicted as a hero. And for trivia, Garrett was originally in Charlton Comics and then AmeriComics before DC Comics acquired the rights to this character. As Booster Gold is rehearsing for his publicity event, Blue Beetle shows up and starts attacking Booster Gold and other people, as well as just damaging equipment and the facility. We see Jaime inside the suit, and it's clear that he doesn't want to attack at all, but simply has no control. Clark shows up and saves one young woman from getting blown up, and it's clear Booster Gold has been lying to the public about the extent of his abilities. He tries to stop Blue Beetle, but quickly realizes he's simply being outpowered. The suit opens up just enough to reveal to Booster that Jaime is the one inside. Booster makes an encouraging speech to Jaime that if he just believes in himself, he can control the suit. And he does. And the suit comes apart. After the climax, Kord says he wants to remove the scarab from Jaime, but Jaime says he wants to keep it and become a hero. And that's how Jaime Reyes' story ends on the show, leaving audiences unclear whether or not in this version of the story, Jaime will ever become a hero. The last ever episode of Smallville came only two or three episodes after this. However, in 2012, a comic book called Smallville Season 11 was released, continuing the show's story. And Jaime Reyes did appear as Blue Beetle in issue 13, as well as later issues, 
confirming he does indeed become a hero in this version of the story. However, I don't want to go into too many details about the comics, because this video is supposed to be focused on the show. Okay, so what was my opinion of Blue Beetle on Smallville? Overall, thumbs up. I thought the story was solid, and the performance from actor Jaron Brandt Barlett was fully convincing. You need to understand that this story was all told in one single episode, and the episode was more focused on Booster Gold than Blue Beetle. That said, the origin of this Blue Beetle which we were given was clear, well-paced, and entertaining. I'm glad it included Ted Kord as a character, and even mentioned Dan Garrett. But those characters were presented as part of the origin for Jaime Reyes. The effects? I thought the costume design did not look corny at all, but I will say it came out different than I interpret Blue Beetle when reading a comic. I think of him as almost being more like a robot ninja with super speed powers, which is how he appears to look in the trailer for the new movie, and many fans are comparing his style of action to that of the Iron Spider. But here on Smallville, he was big, bulky, and slow. He was almost like a darker looking Robocop on steroids. But you need to understand that this was done on a TV show's budget, and we really only saw the character in Blue Beetle form for one single scene. Getting back to the story, many fans probably would have liked to have seen more of Blue Beetle in action. Perhaps we would have seen more of that if the show continued for more seasons. But luckily, now a new movie will be coming out about the Blue Beetle, so we will get to see a lot more of his action in live action. Will this movie be in direct continuity with Smallville? Of course not. But if you saw Blue Beetle in Smallville and wanted to see more, then you should definitely see the new movie. And equally, if you see the new movie and like it, but have never seen this episode of Smallville, then you should go back and look at it so you can compare the two. My video was no substitute for watching the real thing. And whatever you think of how these two live-action depictions compare, please tell me in the comments below. I'd love to discuss it with anyone. And of course I will see the new movie and likely post a video with my thoughts on it. Although I usually don't go to movies on their opening day, I tend to wait until the movie has been out for about a week or so. I'd like to try discussing my thoughts on the new movie in the comments of that video but I'd like to discuss comparing it to Smallville right here. So please leave your comments below, let's get some discussion going. I love discussing this stuff with other fans. Please be sure to hit like, and if you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more of my videos, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell. I would love to have you. Thank you.